All right, so it's been a hot second since we've played some black green. This deck list is not a budget deck list. So the last couple of times we played, Liliana the Veil felt like she left a little bit to be desired, whereas Nissa Vital Force was a card that kept consistently overperforming for me in the games where we were boarding in the two copies from the sideboard. So I have added a seventh one minute discard spell as well as move two Nissa Vital Force into the main deck, and we're playing zero Liliana the Veil for this league. Moving Nissa Vital Force from the sideboard into the main deck gives us more board slots, which is nice. So I not only have my Damping Spheres and my Languishes and my Collective Brutalities, but I also have four, four pieces of Graveyard Hate and two Surgical Attraction and two Nihil Spell Bomb, which is nice. Jojo, hush. Um, so yeah. Yeah, if we queue into Bogles, I'm just going to concede. Our, our Bogles matchup is obviously much worse without Liliana the Veil. Nothing on God's green earth summarizes modern better than this moment right here. Nothing in the world can summarize modern as a format better than this moment that is occurring right now on your screen. I bid you adieu. I'm not, I am many things chat, but I'm not a liar. Let's move on to the next one. I am many, many things, but I am not a liar. There's nothing to rant about. There's nothing to rant. That's just how modern is. That's the format. Modern, every time you register for a modern tournament, you are deciding what decks you want to beat. And you're deciding what decks you want to lose to. And when you hit the ones you, you chose to lose to, it's got to, in the words of the greatest poet of our generation, shake, shake, shake it off and move on with your life. It's okay. It's okay. That's how it goes. I feel like Watsy is watching the stream and they paired you on purpose. Good, good chance. Good chance. The way she goes sometimes. Thanks for the content. Thank you for the seven months, Alec. I appreciate that. Welcome back. Thanks for keeping me employed here. Thought you said if you could predict the future, you wouldn't waste it on magic. You're not wrong. I like this a lot in this archetype. So even before we cut Liliana the Veil, if you followed my progress on Black Green Rock that we played it a bunch this year, the current list for this archetype that's on my website is two Nissa Vital Force in the sideboard. I like her a lot. This is a card that's capable of generating card advantage when we need to slug it out in a grindy matchup. But this card is also, this card's basically a green, a mono green Storm Breath Dragon. This is a 5-5 five five with haste that comes into play and beats your opponent to death very, very quickly when you're in an aggressive position. Thinking about getting into Magic and Grixis Death Shadow is interesting to me. Do you think that's a good deck? I think that deck's very good. I think Grixis Death Shadow ticks a lot of the things I'm like, interested in ticking in Modern, which it has incredibly powerful linear draws while simultaneously having quality interaction in the deck. Can someone make a command for Liliana the Veil? Because I'm sure that's going to come up a bunch here in this league as people come in and come out. I'm not going to repeat myself a bunch. Knights, do your thing. Would you consider a 1-1 split with Tasker and Gurbag Angler? No. So we are a mid-range and control deck. So we're fre frequently able to activate Tasker's ability. But not only that, this deck doesn't have a way to 